that, you know, that's a, a thing for me, I guess. Uh, that and past lives, I keep remembering recent ones and uh, problems as Gandhi. Uh, the, that life really sucked. Um, one of them that's really been flowing through me here recently, I wind up going back there when, when I relax on and off is Spartacus. Mm-hmm. I was the things I was made to do, you know, just to stay alive. And then f- I, I've always had this bad attitude towards the Romans. I was a Roman soldier once, and I think I got flogged more than I got paid. You mm-hmm. know, I was a great big guy. Um, uh, didn't care much for the way things were set up. But as Spartacus, the whole thing was trying to reach out and grab all the people, save the people. I mean, I had a massive, it was like a country that was mobile of people and warriors that was mobile and moving them away, you know, getting them, getting them away from the Romans, uh, fighting to kill the Romans. And the other guy is with, he wanted to take almost two thirds of the, about two thirds, almost two thirds of the troops and go turn around. I was going up the mountains and to turn around and attack the, um, the Romans. And he was outnumbered like, Five, six to one. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so anyway, yeah. that that was the end of that. You should have seen my death when I was a slave. They were all trying to kill me. I had a total of fourteen hours, fourteen hours, fourteen arrows. Four spears, the fifth one bounced off me. I was cut with a sword four times deep. And I was on my knees and had all this shit sticking out of me, and I finally dropped to the ground. That was the end of my life in the body called Spartacus. I've always been here trying to free and protect everyone guy from the CIA that came, uh, the, I'm sorry, from uh, Homeland Security that came to my house. He and the FBI guy, they came together. They were pretty cool. The FBI guy was a little arrogant about the situation, but he didn't understand. He's not a bad person. I fought with him before, previous life, actually Spartacus. Um, but uh, he's a good person. He's a seer, and he's holding everything back. But this guy from Homeland Security, uh, He's a real cool dude, and he couldn't understand. Yeah, I've got my collection of knives. I, I was asked how I could do certain things with knives before um, by people, the military, and by surgeons. And uh, I was Spartacus. I mean, I was really, really good with knives. I mean, that's just one life. But uh, um, that's why knives always, they bothered me like I was aware of the potential harm. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, being cut or, or cutting is like just that's a part of my existence. I want no history. I don't want to go back into. But I have them around the house here. Yeah, after my last trip trying to get the hell out of here, you know, there's nothing around. We don't even have butter knives. Yeah.